All right, so uh, we're very excited to have a good friend of ours, a good friend of mine with us tonight, too, um, Trent Murphy, uh, the defensive end for the Buffalo Bills, uh, former Stanford Cardinal and um, a sports vision advocate. So we want to talk a little bit about sports and vision and specifically the NFL. Um, but uh, thank you, Trent, for being with us tonight, my friend. Yeah, absolutely. you guys having me. So I think one of the things that we talk about a lot in, in just, you know, trying to relate to, you know, coaches and athletes and um, trainers alike uh, is really just kind of, especially related to the sport of football and the NFL in general, is, is just the speed of the game. You and I have talked about it many, many different times about, you know, just kind of the speed of the game itself. And, and maybe we'll get into a little bit about, you know, training and vision and kind of how to bring ourselves up to that speed. But can you just try to give us some kind of understanding of the speed at which your game is played? The biggest thing when you play a, like high caliber quarterbacks is that if you draw a straight line from where you are to the quarterback and there's nothing interferes, that's still not enough time to get there. And when you put a 330 pound guy in front of you that is supposed to stop you most of the time to get there, I mean, it, it makes it even harder. And so you're talking about like 2.8 seconds, 2.6 seconds that the quarterback can catch a ball, snap and get out and, then you're supposed to throw in some kind of hand-to-hand -hand combat in between and, and running there and processing information in between. And there's just a lot of different moving variables that happen and in a very short amount of time. And a lot of people can't really see what's happening. So um, that, that's our, kind of the, the parameters uh, that we deal with every play. A lot of times, you know, we get that, you know, that question back with, you know, they, they understand, you know, the sport of baseball and, and the relevance of vision in baseball, right? You know, it, people talk about that a lot. Hitting a small little baseball seems like it'd be a really difficult thing to do. When we get specifically into football, they say, you know, the skilled players, the quarterbacks, the wide receivers, running backs, having to see and hit the hole and things like that might be important. But, you know, we're talking, you know, specifically with you, a, a defensive player and a defensive player on the line. And someone may say, well, vision's, you know, maybe not that important for a guy who's just got to hit the dude in front of him. But, as you mentioned, there's so much more to the game from things like reaction time, and peripheral vision and spatial awareness, that kind of stuff that, you know, it doesn't just relate to this, to the quote unquote skill guys, right, Trent? Yeah, definitely not. I mean, there's kind of a famous defensive saying that circulates around the league and it's, you see a little, you see a lot, you see a lot and you see a little, and, and that's kind of the game of defense. I mean, you're not really practicing to see a lot more information. You're practicing to, to see and focus in on a little detail and take in more information from that little detail. So for me, it could be the tackles near foot or the tackles near hip, or maybe a quarterback's fingers twitching right before he re receives the ball and it's snapped from the center. And, and those are the type of kind of things you're trying to key in on with, with your vision and key in on your target. Cause there's so much going on. I mean, the field, the fans, the lights, uh, I mean, 22 players on the field, the coaches signaling on the sideline. And so you're not trying to enhance seeing every single thing that's happening. You're trying to kind of focus in and hone in on, on the details you do see. And that's how you take in more information and, and play faster. Well, I think that processing word, you know, we, we hear a lot. We talk about it a lot from a clinical standpoint, but your game is a very dynamic game. You know, you can't set up everything that happens, you know, after the snap, right? There's some pre-snap reads and the offense knows sort of what they're trying to do, but, you know, things happen in a split second and they change. And that adjustability is something that I think is a difficult thing to train. But you and I have talked a lot about processing and the word processing, sort of the mental side of the game that, you know, what we talk about from a sports vision standpoint is not just vision and clarity and seeing things clearly, but it's what happens above the eyes and having to make those immediate quick decisions in a dynamic sport. Yeah, I mean, definitely. There's a very short amount of time to take in a lot of information before the snap, but my, most of my snaps are dictated based on the information I take in before the ball is ever even snapped. I, I could probably play the, the snap of my eyes closed 